Bars and Spy here. It is my mission to help you find your perfect games. When it comes to choosing games, it is not mine or others' opinions that matter. Your opinion is the only one that counts. A good game to me can be a bad game to you and vice versa. Oh, I know what's happened. Oh, fuck. I bring information to help you build your own opinion about games. In the next minutes, I'll take you through the three-step game review for Ori and the Will of the Wisps. That from now on, we will also call it as Ori 2. That's a... Ah! He didn't die! I played Ori 2 for plus 24 hours and completed 100% of the game. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Before playing any game, oh, always check me. its playing oh, conditions. Me. Ori 2 is an action-adventure metroidvania game that can be played only in PvE and to win at this game you need to complete all main quests. Ori 2 will test your gaming skills on exploration, combat and a bit of logic. You little demon! Look what you have done to me! Look. Oh, I can jump back over here. Okay. Run, jump and combo abilities in the air to reach new areas or to win fights. And, as game progress, you will find out there is much more. There are dozens of things to do. Quests, side quests, puzzles, time trials, base improvements, skill character customization, upgrades, collectibles, and all that is put together in a story worthy of a fairy tale. Ow! Oh, no! Unlike most games, Death at Ori 2 is not a punishment. The respawn usually happen really close, putting you right back into the game. The game comes in three levels of difficulty, easy, normal and hard. The normal level is challenging and the hard level will make you suffer. If by any chance these are game characteristics you may not like, move on to the next game review. Now let's give a look at the graphics and sound of Ori in the Will of the Wisps. Look at this game, dude. L look at this graphics. Come on. Look at this. This is freaking beautiful. Like what you see in here? Is it appealing to you? You can watch more gameplay videos at the links I added in the description below. Now that we have seen the basics of the game, let's go into the detail. UI traditional graphics is one of the game's footprint, and to let you experience every base of that, the HUD brings only the essential. All the rest is left into the in-game menu, something you will access a lot, as the map is your best friend. On a side note, the function to swap and bind abilities to buttons keeps the gameplay simple and it replaces comboing buttons for ability. Ori 2 is a fairy tale that unfolds as you progress in the game by completing the main quests. To help you get involved, the story characters, the side quests are usually related to them. The story is told in cutscenes, characters' voiceover and dialogue boxes. An important detail about the voiceover, the game speaks an unknown language, so reading will be always necessary. How does he run faster? SSB, low. PvE games usually don't get the same kind of attention from the gaming community 
as PvP games, mostly because the content generation is limited to the completion of the game, resulting in a short awareness lifespan. RE2 has various leaderboards, which may bring players together. I got first! <laughs> For like one millisecond, I got it. <laughs> oh, there's a leaderboard. Oh, that's cool. I can see who's first. I should see who's first. Oh, 18 seconds? Come on. The Xbox exclusivity can be a negative. A counterpoint to that, it's free for Xbox Game Pass members. Mood analysis. Eager. The combination of story and gameplay is the reason why my mood average results in eager. During almost the entire game, my mood was at least at entertained, and two times it spiked to can't stop playing. While the gameplay was able to maintain my mood between entertained and eager, the unfolding of the story and the boss encounters were in charge of the wow moments. Grind feeling, absent. There is always a possibility of feeling grind while playing Metroidvania games because of the constant need to backtrack. Beyond the story and gameplay, Ori 2 has some features to make backtracking not a painful experience. As game progress, checkpoints will be unlocked in which you can teleport from anywhere. You will also learn mobility skills that make traveling around the map much, much faster. What I loved the most about the game? There are a lot of things to love about this game, but the gameplay moments of bosses chasing Ori are definitely a favorite. What I disliked the most about the game? There is really nothing to dislike. Maybe the quest icons on the map would be a little bit smaller as sometimes overlap other icons. There are more similarities and differences between the first Ori game and this one. The considerable gap of 5 years between both games can be seen in different ways, but in the end, what matters is the delivered gameplay experience. Ori 2 excels in every aspect and goes beyond. Ori and the Wheel of the Wisps is, well, it could be a book as it tells a charming story, it could also be a movie as it's beautiful to look at, luckily for us gamers, it's a game, and it has everything it needs to become again a bestseller or blockbuster. Ori and the Wheel of the Wisps is a must read, a must see, a must play sequel. Don't buy it, if you're not into the charming and fairy tale look-like story. Wait to buy, if the game is not at your price point range and you prefer to wait for a sale. Buy now, if you want to play a solid and challenging Metroidvania game. Yeah! Got it. My personal choice and advice? By now. You can fully complete this game in 20 30 hours. Make your own choice. Don't be guided by stars, numbers, voodoo shit, or even me. And always remember there is no good or bad game if there is fun while playing it. I spy to gamers and gamers only. Thanks for watching, and to watch my next game review, hit the subscribe button.